Hi guys, here's a little update on the uh, inline 4 32cc. Um, this is the finished product now from the first video I uploaded. There's one or two uh, modifications. Um, I had to put a decent quality electric fan on it because the one supplied lasted about three or four minutes and burnt out. I've also done a modification on the uh, drive system there. The little pulleys that came with it just used a little elastic button type of belt. It was terrible. It just kept slipping and not driving the water pump or oil pump. That's the water pump, that's the oil pump. So that had to be addressed. So I bought some uh, blind gears off a company called Bearing Company in the UK and you drill them out to suit what application you're doing and the smallest belt they did was a, a 150mm by 9mm fortunately 150mm was too big so I had to make this little tensioner which is just bolted to the front face plate and it's just on like a, a lever so you bring it down, tensions up, slackens it off now these shafts that drive the water pump and oil pump, they're only 3mm shafts so they're not substantial so you don't have this belt tight, have it very slack, not like on a car. As long as it's grabbing those teeth it will turn and that's all you want and that's perfect now that's addressed. The uh, modification here is it's got a split oil system now. Even though these engines did smoke a bit right from new, and I've got a funny feeling there's no valve stem seals on them. I think it's just a tolerance fit. So the oil drips past the valve seats and into the bore because they do, you know, they do burn smoke. I thought it was a running in issue, but they, even when they run in, they do, they, burn, they do smoke. So even though. It worked, the, the, the top gallery was damp. I wouldn't say it was, you know, doused in oil, it was damp. And I didn't like that because if they start wearing, if all your tappets and your valves start wearing out, the engine's knackered really, you know. So I don't think you're going to get parts for that. They do certain parts, but I don't think you'll get parts like them sort of parts. So I've done the split oil system. Uh, there's a pipe that goes to through the rocker, there was an hole in the rocker cover used for crankcase ventilation and I've put a 4mm brass tube across the top on the inside, machined out the top of the rocker cover and fitted a 4mm drip bar crimped at the end, a bit like the old Ford overhead cams and that drips in four places now, oil onto all the rockers and then there's just four little holes here which is crankcase ventilation so that's working fine, works quite well. Uh, round the back, they did do a starter motor kit for them, which is a fantastic little kit. I think it was about £65, and basically it's a one way drag gear. So, quite well made that part. But the starter motor that came with it, it's a little tiny one like that so you can see the difference and this thing worked great for about a week and then yes the Chinese syndrome burnt out so saw these starter motors on ebay they're only £14 and they're for a 50cc electric uh, scooter so they should be up to the job because a, a petrol 50cc petrol scooter you know you're starting it stopping it starting it stopping it and I had to modify this part because the original start mode came through there. Cut this segment away to allow the start mode to mate up to the transfer gear there. Because if you tried to go through there, the start mode would hit the back of the block. So it had to came, come out. And then I just welded a plug onto the bracket, which is basically a locating plug to stop this drifting. And then it's just uh, made on a bracket at the back of 
for that uh, bottle there, which we'll get to in a minute. So it's really substantial now, always perfect. Um, originally when I bought this engine, it wasn't a free flow water system. It was a sealed circuit and it was a bugger to bleed because you just can't bleed it without uh, some sort of free flow system. So I fitted this free flow system so any air now just goes get pumped out and into the top. There's a vent hole at the top. And then just 100% water goes back around the circuit. And I have noticed the actual company now is starting to do them with a free flow water system. So they've obviously had problems as well. So yeah, that's the update. Um, like I say, there's a couple of mods which you, you really need to address really. Um, that one needs addressing because the belts do slip, very cheap little belts. Uh, that doesn't slip now. And like I say, it's up to you if you do some sort of mod to the top. But like I say, when you run this engine, if you stop it and then take the rocker cover off, it's only damp, tepid damp. And there's not enough oil slushing about in it. So this is wet through now, so I'm happy with that. It does burn more smoke. It does burn more oil and smoke more, but I'm not too bad about that because if it's burning smoke, it's getting oil in bars. If it's getting oil in bars, it's getting lubricated. So yeah, and uh, the new starter motor, she starts up quite well now. Just press the switch. <laughs> So, there are the few mods we've done. I hope you uh, find it interesting. Cheers.